Alright, welcome back to another PvP Pit Battle video. This is Lenica, and I am joined by Nathan today. And we're going to be trying out some teams with pets that are drops. Some of these pets are a little bit interesting that they're considered drops. For example, the Falcosaur pets, which I love them all. But um, they're not strictly drops, I guess. But apparently they count as drops. So the way you do it is you just go to this filter, go to sources, drop. This might be an add-on. Um, if it is, it's probably... Um, either rematch or pet journal enhanced or something. Um, I have uh, the all of the add-ons that I that I personally use for PvP pet battles or just pet battles in general. I have them in the description below the video, so just check them out if you don't have them already. But basically, what you do is if you have all of my add-ons, you just come to filter, go to sources, and then check drop, and that'll show you all of the pets that are um, considered drops. Uh, there's uh, uh, from what I've heard, there's supposed to be a tournament going on, but I don't know exactly what time um, it will be. But I do know that Gomroth said that he will be leading it and hosting it, streaming it. So the difficulty I see with uh, drop pets is there are some really, really strong pets. There's the Bronze Whelpling, uh, Nubisath Idol... Uh, Death Adder Hatchling, Fiendish Imp, Wicked Soul, Tarot Claw, just some really, really, oh, <laughs> Orphan Felbat is even worse than the Tarot Claw, just some really strong tier 1, even tier 0 pets. I don't, is the Bone Serpent one of them? No, no he isn't. He's about the only, yeah, he's about the only one that isn't in here, and there's Bone Storm. <laughs> And uh, so just some really, really strong pets, a lot of tier 1 pets, Jade Miss Dancer, of course, a lot of tier 1 pets are drops, and so um, in order to make kind of a fun meta, about 15 pets would need to be blacklisted. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's really kind of a difficult situation, but for these uh, battles between Nathan and me, uh, hopefully we'll be able to kind of show off some of the stronger pets and then maybe we also have some fun teams I know I have about uh, 10 teams that are really kind of over the top a lot of really 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 strong teams and then um, You know some more fun teams that won't kind of just be really frustrating to play against each other. There's some of my teams that honestly um Honestly, Nathan's not even. One of us is. I, I'm, in, I'm not predicting the same thing from you. There's probably going to be a couple teams where it's going to be so obnoxiously healy or so obnoxiously stally that it, it'll just be better to forfeit. You know, if you if you don't have a way to to counter it. Um, I know there's one team that I have in particular uh, that I, I I apologize in advance, and I'm kind of just putting it together to show like. This is the real problem we have with, uh, oh, and here's another one, Brute. Brute, brute. It, just to give you a hint for what that team probably is, um, Brute is, is a drop. Brute. I am using Brute. No. Yeah, just, I would recommend just forfeiting if you don't have a way to counter him when I, when I, when I play that team. And it's not, it's not because I hate Nathan, I love Nathan, um, but... Like, the, the, the real issue I see is, you know, there are these really, really, really overpowered pets in this meta. And there's, there goes Bonestorm again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting time. And I'm looking forward to this, so I'll go ahead and start off with this team. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and challenge me, Nathan. Alrighty, so this is a uh, te team name is just AOE, and we have an even better AOE team here. I don't have a way to deal with that clone dance, so this is going to be interesting for sure. Um, I do have something I can punish him for starting with his pygmy owl, though. And uh, by the way, just uh, just a side note, pygmy owl is also the pet that I chose <laughs> for my for my uh, for my. Uh, um, my, I, I have a clone dance team. I, won't, I don't remember what I used for my third pet, though. So I knew he would start with that bird. He wants to go for that clone dance. I will be able to punish him with some very strong damage. Uh, 
Oh, he doesn't want any of oh, oh no. Oh no, that stun is brutal. That means that he's actually dead on this round. You have the magic? No. No diversity. <laughs> yeah, I almost never do that, but I just wanted to be able to counter flyers and I don't remember why. I, I literally just don't even remember why. <laughs> So, I mean, he's better off just going for damage because he knows he's going to die on the back line. Like, I have literally two moves on my... No, three moves on my team that aren't AoE. So... Yeah, if I get another stun, I think I might actually win this. Yeah, now it's still now it's still a close one. Um, the thing you have going for you is I don't actually have a bubble breaker since you're saving that Sid the Squid for um final matchup because yeah, the only way I can b break your bubble is to do AOE, and it's not even really breaking it; it's just kind of doing something while it's up. So, uh, you do have that going for you. But it's definitely looking pretty good for me still. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in swapping out, because that, that, that Jade Mist Dancer is going to die on the back line just as fast as it's going to die on the front line. Yeah, let's let's misclick. <laughs> All right, so of course I am going to kill myself here. Alrighty, so um, now we have this Sid the Squid versus Blight Breath uh, match matchup, and I am scared of that bubble. I think you are going to take this one home. Especially if you have Whirlpool. Hmm. I do like to run Sleeping Gas most of the time. Alright, so finally that bubble's gone, but I'm almost dead. Die. He wins the coin toss, and even if he ha even if I had won the coin toss, I think you just had it, so... GG. Nice. Alrighty. By the way, I did have Toxic Smoke. Yeah, Toxic Smoke is, is recommended by most people. Um, sleeping gas definitely is more annoying. Yeah, that's true. That's, I mean, it's either way. It's a bad. It's a bad choice. But you don't really want to use your your second move very much either. It's basically just oh you 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 you're countered by beasts. Okay, throw out a uh, toxic smoke. But um, sweet. So there's a there's our first game. So go ahead and summon my second team. And. Yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. Are you uh, seeking vengeance or not yet? Going easy on me. This one's. I'm kind of just going down the list, but unfortunately, if I just keep going down the list, um, my uh, my oh, 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 this oh, team oh, right here is. Running the HH break like I do. Well, I want the HS. I want the HS, but I I just. So much better than I hate being slow though. Like it is really good, but um, it is. It's, it's, below it's true. Oh man. Oh man. All right, let's do this. Hmm. Don't care who this goes on. I do. <laughs> I just want to kill. 
Kovac as quickly as possible. Hmm. Do I want this on my phone? No. Yeah, Legolas is going to start taking some damage from that pheromones. Also, Terraclaw is going to start taking some damage from that uh that Black Claw Poison Fang. Beast Ratio is activated. This this Kovac is going to start doing a lot of damage. Oh, that crit's really bad. Wait, Kovac's faster than Terraclaw? That's ridiculous. I told you. Dang, HH for the win. Oh man. Stay alive, Terraclaw. No. Alright. There's no way he's just gonna go for damage. There's no way. Yeah, you have to. You can't take a black claw. I'm telling you, HH is worse. Oh no. Oh no. Terraclaw might die back there. That's not what I want. Yeah, I think the Terra Claw is actually going to die because of the Beast Racial. I haven't played Terra Claw in the longest time. This is what happens. <clears throat> oh, that's probably a that's probably a less than ideal move. Alrighty, so that dot will take you out. <laughs> Alrighty. I think this is a an okay time to bring this guy in. Go ahead and get this down for later. Yeah. So that dot's rolling. Um, no, there's no real winning this, but... Yeah, I mean, that crit against the Terra Claw was really game breaking. Alright, Skunk A, Elemental. Let's work wonders. At HH Breed. <laughs> All right, skunky elemental, make me proud. Crits, let's get some crit schools. No, you're supposed to do crits to them, not receive them. Already, coin toss is here, but um, unless you crit, I've got this. Yeah, down she goes. Alrighty, so a flawless victory against that terrorist double <laughs> tier one team. Um. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just kind of going down the list. Um, gonna break out this team. Not scary at all. Really, really kind of a fun team that I think you'll enjoy playing against. Um, I know I'm gonna have a good time, so just let me know whenever you're ready. If you're gonna have a good time, not worry. <laughs> He's scared. And he already popped clone dance. So the name of this team is Cancer. No. <laughs> oh no. What did you, what did you say? <laughs> this team is. Oh, you do have a trap, so you technically have a chance. But man, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Um. Oh my god. Why? Yeah, that trap's basically your only your only hope. Work wonders. Oh no. Well, it's good that it went off already. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Time to bully time to bully Nathan with a tarot claw. When's he gonna dodge? Is he gonna dodge now? Is is the haunt gonna go into a dodge or or is he gonna just keep doing damage and be a bully? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why the tarot claw is so evil. Is when it's played by a you know a good player like Nathan or me. Like, what can you even do about this? Ugh. Oh no! And there's the haunt. There's the haunt just as I dodge. Yeah, this this is a you know this is a fair pet. I really think that uh, Blizzard is is doing a good job allowing this to be in PvP. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, this is one of those teams where I don't blame you if you just uh, forfeit. <laughs> I mean, you do at least have the trap, and that could win you the game, but um, it's it's still... Yeah, I was able to get off my heel. So, um, you know, just classic Terra Claw. Don't do it. <laughs> no. I'm okay losing Brute. Now that that uh, now that, that trap's gone, I'm actually in a pretty good position to bring my terror cloud back in. Dang it! it <laughs> <be> <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. I don't blame you for for pulling out a vengeance team. Do you have brute, by the way? You don't love me. <laughs> and so, no haunt for that wicked soul. Oh, I feel dirty right now. I f I just feel like like there's a black spot in my heart, and uh, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and that magma rageling's dead in two hits. Yeah, your only your only chance is for this trap to go off. Otherwise, you're just gone. Come on, trap! You've done wonders for me. Ah, oh, down goes the magma rage link. So this is his last trap. No. How fast is that chaos pup? It's faster than uh, both of my other pets. So I kind of want to be careful to keep him alive. Just tried to get that trap to go off on my other pets. No, leave him alone. Alrighty. No, 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 no trap. <laughs> if the trap goes off right now, it's GG. I'm gonna be so pissed off. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you might be even more mad in a second. There's a 90% chance that you'll be really sad right now. Oh, and that trap is not going off on me. No! <laughs> also, this does extra damage to you. And I can't hit you. And you also can't heal because you're faster. Damn it. I'm so sorry, Nathan. You are you are free to bring the most disgusting, obnoxious counter team that you want now because this was so, so cruel of me. But here's the here's really my point is like this is what you can do with uh, drop pets is you can make teams like this. Like I could have thrown a, a, a Anubis at idol anything just really over the top obnoxious on this team. And so this is why pets like the Tarot Claw and Brute have to be banned. Valiantly. <laughs> I mean, the Terra Claw is just ridiculous. Like, that's that's ridiculously OP. <laughs> There's nothing you could do. I killed Brute. Yeah, you did kill Brute. Um, 
He didn't even get out of sunlight. Like, imagine how much more obnoxious that would be if if the trap hadn't gone off and I'd have been able to get out sunlight. Oh my gosh. That trap was mine. Would have been OP and a half. Alrighty, so um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a team that I anticipate will lose and I won't feel bad about losing with it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll pick a good team. I'll pick a good team. Um, but I do anticipate he'll be bringing out one of his best teams here. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. I call it the Rage Inducers. <laughs> so this is a triple tier one pet team. But there isn't very much synergy, I'll have to say. It's just three strong tier one pets, so if I have a good matchup, I'd do okay. And otherwise, it just I, there wasn't much thought put into this team. I'm just kind of, you know... Alrighty, so he can actually start with all three of his pets. Um, I would predict Kovac. But literally all three of his pets are good uh, options for, for starting, so... Um, hmm. He has two pets that could CC me. Technically three. Yes. Um. All right. So there's that flying racial. And a dot on that bird, so that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good opener, honestly. I'm gonna lose uh, my bronze whelpling, but my bronze whelpling's pretty worthless against your entire team, other than the bird. So definitely looking okay here for me. Yeah, I'm I'm a goner here. Oh, got me. But that's okay. I mean, I'm gonna kill you with a. Uh, well, actually, I have to pop puncture wound if I want to kill you for sure. Nice, well played. Actually, that was probably a bad move. Probably should have stayed in there. Forgot about the Black Fuse Bobby. That's probably going to cost me the game. <laughs> Yeah, when the trap goes off is pretty important. If I can get it to go off on the Black Fuse Bombling, I think I can win this. But otherwise, I think this is your game. Ah, GG. Yeah, that was that was that was a good uh, trap timing because now I'm stuck in a one v one with. Oh no, that Orphan Felbat's going to heal, and I don't have my right the correct pet in here. So, and then the one v one of the Black Fuse Bombling versus. Well, that heal wasn't actually all that much. You are still below your racial, and that's the important thing for me. I am going to take you out. Can't afford to take any dots on my snake. And then he has zap and <laughs> GG. He has to hit me two two times. <laughs> GG. That was a fun game. Indeed. Redemption. And down I go. <laughs> So the rage inducers uh, didn't didn't do so hot. We'll have to try that one again later. Not today, but in the future. Alrighty, so I'll just go ahead and go keep going down the list. Um, this team's pretty fun. I haven't. Um, my wicked soul team is in a few uh, games, and then my fiendish imp will be later. My fiendish imp team is pr 
pretty ridiculous. Both both the Wicked Soul and the Fiendish Ship. I actually don't have them together, if that's a hint, obviously. Uh, but both of them are really quite ridiculous. I only use two Tier 1 uh, pets on each of those teams, but I use a solid Tier 2 pet for each of them that really kind of supports them. Um, so whenever you're ready, this is probably a team I anticipate seeing from you, actually. Not necessarily this game, but somewhere throughout this, uh, this mini-meta is, uh, this bleed team. This is, like, one of the best bleed teams I can think of, and it's gonna be pretty fun. Oh, you don't have it? It's not that good, actually. The, the real problem is he's so slow and he doesn't have Surge, but it's really not half bad either. Alright, so... We both have a sharp talon. His sharp talon's definitely really good against me. But I didn't really expect him to open with it, honestly. Um, so, getting a bleed on this guy will be really nice. Even if he swaps, it's really okay with me. Let me go ahead and go for the blood and water in case he didn't swap. He's going to heal on the back line, but that bleed is also ticking, so for at least four rounds, he's basically going to be losing health, not gaining it. And he can't afford to swap back in to uh, throw up another wild magic, so I can simply swap. Or I could throw up a bleed first. Which one do I want to do? Tough call. I'm gonna have wild magic on me. I don't think it's worth it to stay in. Yeah, but not for you either. No. No. <laughs> ah, he knew I would dodge. Well played. Hmm. What do I want to do? I mean, I have dodge up, so I may as well throw out the bleed. But getting that... Ooh, that Dazzling Dance. That Dazzling Dance might win you this game, actually. Uh, that's going to put the f the Core Fire Imp faster than me. Hmm. That left shark is actually going to be quite a contender. I was kind of focused on these two pets, forgot about the left shark. Oh, well played. Well played indeed. I mean, I, I, I had to, to hope you went for that. No! Oh, I should have dodged. Nice mind game. That's really good. I should have dodged. I thought you were going to predict a dodge and swap. And I went for it again. There's a... Uh, now I'm going to die to bleeds. I don't know if my uh, spine claw crab can do this. Oh, why didn't I go for dodge? Oh no. And this is exactly what I'm talking about is this... Uh, this crab is just so, so slow. If I could go for surge right now, that'd be amazing. I'm just kind of forced to take a, a shadow defense. Nothing I can do about it. And uh, now I'm going to be really, really punished for this next two rounds. Oh, I really wish I'd dodged because even then I think you'd win, possibly. But it'd be so much closer. And now it's just like, 
You know, just two tail slaps. Why have that? Uh, that was pretty low end. That was ridiculously low end, actually. Man, two low end hits. I think I think you still got this, but um, that definitely gives me a chance. Especially if you heal here. No, actually, if you crit, it's over. If you crit, it's over. And you got it. It had to be a really low end hit in a row. All right, well that was a fun game. Um, I like I like your team. I like my team a lot. So uh, go ahead and choose my next team, and just let me know whenever you're ready. Alrighty, so this is uh, very, you'll, you'll recognize most of this team, I'm sure. That Emerald Whelpling is a very good counter, but um, actually, this is this is Moon Moon and Turkey. I think this is a combo I like a lot. Um, now, he knows what I want to start with, so he could punish me several different ways. Um, Alright, I'll take that. I'm gonna take a moon bite to the face, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was a really high end moon bite. Alright. Let's preserve that racial. Figured a crouch was coming. So I'll be able to focus on AoE. Oh, that turkey is going to actually force a swap for me almost certainly. There's no way I want to stay in for that acid touch. Thanks for the weather. Yeah, that's going to buff his dot. It, it takes away one hit, but it's, I mean, the, the dot itself just does more damage, which is really, really good news for him. Hmm. Unless I do have an aquatic to take weaker damage from it. There's a stun. Hmm. Already, so I just really hope he doesn't crit and get a triple. Whew, no crit. That's really good news. This is a tough call. I think I'm going to have to take that dot. Because I really want that AoE. Even with all the AoE I've been throwing out, that uh, dragon's taking weak damage, so he stills over a thousand health. Definitely looking pretty good for him. Ah, uh, no crit. That crit would have been really nice. Oh, I'm glad you went for the stun. Oh, you forgot you were slower. Yeah, it just the dazzling dance just just wore off. So movement's going to come in. He is going to die. Hmm. 
but he did get out that Dazzling Dance, so I think he's got this one. Got those 341 speed pets against my 317. It's looking pretty good. Alrighty, so I'm going for a crit. actually even a crit. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it and see if I crit the dragon. No. Because I have to kill that backline pet or it'll be able to stun me. And he's got me. Oh, he lives. What a oh, and he still lived. No crits. He, uh, I don't oh, think either lived. of them crit. Oh wait, no. I think the first one crit. It just wasn't enough, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, okay, so I needed a crit on both, and even a crit on the Emerald Whelpling wasn't enough. Because what I needed to do was kill both of your pets with that, or I lost. So, wow, that was a close game. So, uh, sweet. Yeah, that was my team dropping tornadoes. Um, go ahead and summon this next team. Like I said, I'm just going down the line. Um, so some of these teams are going to be really, really just kind of out of the blue, really strong. And then others are going to be kind of randomly um, just kind of odd, <laughs> odd teams. And this is one of the odd teams. And we're both playing the Sister of Temptation, which is pretty cool to see. He's playing a double humanoid team, which is odd. Um, double humanoid is really good. It just does mean if I have, uh, you know, undead damage, I'm going to do really well. If I don't, I'm going to lose. <laughs> but, yeah, this is exciting. Um, now, he's almost certainly running Deflection, which will mean that Sister of Temptation won't do that well against him. Most likely. I mean, he could run Rupture. Rupture's fine. It's just definitely a lot better to to run Deflection, especially if you're a smart player like Nathan. Hmm. Stone Rush, very cool. Now I'd imagine he's also running Sandstorm, which will really hurt, but I have a strong matchup against him. So. Also, regardless of what he's running, he's going to want to go for a Stone Rush unless he's going to swap next uh, into in two turns, because then he'll be ability locked just due to his rotation so now we're gonna find out what he has he does have sandstorm but that's okay my leviathan hatchling isn't that useful I guess it's okay against the the idol but really nothing fantastic alrighty so nice high-end hit to take out that elemental and I'd say I'm I'm doing okay um that idol still really high health but that sister temptation is obviously um, just not the strongest pet. Definitely strong if she's running Haunting Song to support the uh, the idol. Oh, I missed. That's really bad. Oh, uh, that's really bad. I don't even know if I want to if I want to swap. Oh, that's no! a good miss for me. Okay, so she does have Haunting Song, so having the slow is, is less important. 
But if I can get that slow on her... Oh, thank goodness. That means that now my, my sister of temptation is faster. That's really good for me. If you hadn't missed that 90%, you would have been dead. I would be dead. If neither of us missed, we'd be in a very similar position, but this is definitely a better situation for me. Yeah, I'm glad I have that Curse of Doom on my bird and not my t Sister of Temptation. So he didn't deflection now, which means if he has it, he's going to have to go for it this next turn because he has that Shatter Defenses on him um, for these two rounds, and he doesn't want to take it. I mean, he could he could deflection now, or he could deflection on the next turn, but if he has it, he definitely wants to use it for one of these. There's that first one. That's well played. But it does have Shatter Defenses on him for one more round. Oh, that's going to be GG. All right, so it, it's not GG yet. This is actually one of the very few times where the Bloodgazer Hatchling's the best uh, the best bird is. I can uh, I can actually just spam a basic attack instead of being stuck against Sandstorm. So, oh, that was a very helpful crit. Really quite game breaking. Obviously not. I was hoping you'd deflection there. But here's a guaranteed hit. Well, not necessarily, but like. There's no point in going for deflection. All right, so he's still alive. Anything could happen. Sandstorm's up. Anything could happen. There's the land. It landed it. All righty. I, I was scared. I was sweating because that uh that Anubisat idol's scary. And when you throw haunting song user on it, oh man, it's hard to kill. But I'm very glad I had the sister of temptation. And uh. That was definitely one of my weakest teams, so that was just a good matchup, I suppose. Um, alrighty, so um, yeah, this is going to be one of those, uh, one, another one of those teams where I'm just going to have a good time, and Nathan probably won't. <laughs> but at least I'm warning you in advance. There's one pet he could have that I'm going to be really, really, really sad to see. If he has it. At least one pet. I mean, there's a lot of pets. There's one pet that he hasn't used yet that I'm going to be really, really sad if he has it. Hmm. What could that pet be? Um, the reason I'd be sad is, is it because it, this is literally... I hate playing against that pet when I have it myself. And so if there's a mirror match with that pet... Um, I actually have a pretty good matchup against it, but, like, I still hate going up against it because having the same speed is just, it's painful. It's the worst matchup ever. It's worse than rabbits, just about. I believe I know what he's talking about. Oh, okay. Well, wait, let, let me know what you think it is. I'm actually curious. Okay. Well, give it away so you can change it. Oh no, I promise I'm keeping the same team. Is it Queen of the Sham? It is not actually. A wicked Soul? Um you already used your Wicked Soul, so that's why I would not that's that I that was um that is not the pet. You'll you'll see what it is. I, I just had this this matchup before where it's uh this particular pet versus itself and it sucks because it's just RNG for who wins. Oh uh, Hydra Wiz. Yeah. It's it's such a it's such a trolley pet. I hate it. Like I actually hate the Hydra Wisp probably more than the Tarot Claw. Hydra Wisp teaming best in the world. I think people really underestimate it. Like if you're faster than it, oh yeah, it's easy money. But um, 
it is a monster pet if you're if it's faster than you. Alrighty, so um What? He put them together. Yeah, they're so strong. They're so strong together. Well, in that case I have the best fiendish imp counter in the game, so he can't start with that fiendish imp. There's no way. Oh, he has felt emulate. Interesting. Also, possibly feathered frenzy. I'm not sure. This bitch is just gonna not take damage from me. Yeah, this uh, iron skin's actually broken. It needs to be fixed. For real. Um, uh, it's exactly the it's exactly the same thing as um. Shell on, except it doesn't last the extra turn. Exactly. Well. No, 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 it lasts for the same duration as Shell Armor, but it has a one round shorter cooldown. That's what's broken about it. Alright, so he might hit me with another gate, but I'm happy either way. I love, I love it the way it is. Hmm. Hmm. Creeping Insanity is cool, but I would assume he has Foreboding Curse to synergize with his dots. I just can't afford... I can't afford to take that creeping insanity though. That's too much damage if he has it. It's just too much damage. What am I running? There's the foreboding curse. Okay. So I think he's actually faster than me now, which is uh interesting. But he has the weak matchup almost certainly. <laughs> Yeah, that weak matchup, of course. This is a garbage building, but it's supposed to keep you in so you can't switch. He needs a crit to kill me, though. No crit, so I survive. Well, and I kind of figured you would have it because you have a fiendish imp in the back line. There's no way illusionary barrier is ever going to be useful for you. Alright, looking pretty good here. Hmm. Getting that dot on my wicked soul is definitely good for you. Ooh. Alright, um, hmm. Bring that bird out. Yeah, I just don't want to take, I just don't want the, the weak matchup of the of the magic pet. Magic pet's really good against the creeping tentacle later on. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of rinsing and repeating, but I feel like I feel like it's going my way. Just uh, kind of whittling down that uh, mechanical and the magic pet, and then leaving the fiendish imp versus wicked soul later on is kind of GG. Hmm. Ooh, I'll survive at least one turn. One maybe. Turn. What do you mean maybe? Oh, he's gonna do it again. I should if I get a crit, if I get a crit, you're dead. <laughs> oh, actually, no, I wouldn't have. You wouldn't have died. Oh, he just went for the buff. All right, interesting. Does that does that stay on your team? I don't think it does. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I just want to do a lot of damage to you, and thankfully, hit on the high end. Oh, foreboding curse. I'm still faster though. I think he's. Nah. So he's still alive. Probably should have gone for an iron skin. 
it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna... He's gonna die. This um, your pants are really low. Or... There's the nether gate. to keep all my pets alive for a little bit longer. That would have been really good, but of course I will get that haunt into you. Hundred percent extra damage unless you crit here. And I'm pretty sure the imp's going down. That was a lucky matchup for me, because people Y'all don't want to underestimate the imp. You do not. GG. You had a chance. You did. I was actually a lot closer than I thought it would be looking at the matchup. But what would have made it a lot less close is if I had just assumed you had... I mean, I did assume, but if I had gone with the assumption that you had Foreboding Curse and I had stayed in on my Dire Beak to kind of take advantage of that, that would have made it a lot less close. So my swapping into the Magic Pet there, remember when I was afraid of the Creeping Insanity, um, that definitely made it a lot closer. So a rematch, I think, would be a lot less close. <laughs> Perhaps I should have saved. That's another thing, but like, you know, a 3v1 where the Wicked Soul's involved and the Fiendish Imp is the one, you know, it's, it's so little you can do. He's you played it very well. Used, so used his name yet. I haven't. Let's try this team and only expect a win, but we'll see. Yeah, probably, expect. if you don't expect a win, you definitely aren't going to oh. expect one against <laughs> this team. This team's ridiculous. <laughs> This team is actually just insane. So I call this team Lightning Dots, and uh, yeah, it's an imp team. It's garbage. Now, if he has Shell Shield, he'll do okay, but I would anticipate Rot because he probably has Chew and, you know, some kind of critter damage. So I think I'm in the clear. Oh, Bessie. What did you name your Pygmy Cow? Um, what did I name it? Did I even name my Pygmy Cow yet? I think I named it something like Eat More Chicken. Yeah. Ooh, Stampede. Quite interesting indeed. I've learned that uh, Stampede mixed with the other abilities is actually better. The thing about Stampede is it's really good against someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Not so good against, you know, you or me, who, uh, you know, no, okay, three turns have gone by, something's about to hit me hard, and it's gonna hurt real bad. <laughs> I knew it. Go ahead, switch me out. It's okay, I'm, I'll take a, I'll happily take a, an unramped Arcane Blast, 420 oh, damage, no big deal. Was there. Yeah, that's why I always recommend, put your undeads at the top slot every single time. And then they will be the first pet to be swapped in. Hmm. Gosh, dang it. So he's gonna heal up that pygmy cow, but he's not gonna be full health. Only about 80%. Nah, 70, 60%. That's really not that impressive. Let's go ahead and nerf that feed heal. Punish him for staying in. Now that emulate's gonna start hitting for like 100 a pop. 120 actually is really not half bad. Go, Bessie. You can kill it if you in yourself. Flying racial is still intact. Oh, that hurt. But uh, my dots hurt more. 
Yeah, the, 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 the Wisp here is going to not do well because I have two fat pets that are faster than it, but it's definitely not a pet to be trifled with. Oh, he does have Shell Shield. I called it wrong. That's going to actually give you a really high chance of beating me. Oh, interesting. Huh, well I'm glad to know that he has Shell Shield. Um... Hmm. Well played. Oh, coin toss for the win. Oh! Oh! I thought you would dodge. I was trying to kill you. Huh. Alright, so there's the coin toss going your way. Um... And he was predicting the swap. Either way, it works pretty well for him. Alrighty, so there's the swap. I'm gonna be able to get kind of just a free dot into that um, that magic pet. He's within one kill shot, or one hit, and the magic pet's finally gone. So I think I've got this just because I have that Hydraling um, in the back line at pretty high health. As far as priorities go, if he gets like a crazy crit and kills me here, I'd rather get Black Claw on him than uh, just Felt Immolate. Yeah, like a crit like that would have been devastating if I'd only gotten the, the Felt Immolate on him. Because he just wouldn't even care. All right, GG. That was, that was a good game. But I mean, you, you really did a great job considering the team I had. The team I had was just insane. Like, the only thing that could really... Even if Wicked Soul wouldn't do that well against it because I have the Hydraling. I mean, it was just a really, really this strong team. Oh, what I would expect. Interesting. Huh. Just, uh, a relief of 
your shoulders. My good sir. I'm curious to see. Um There are a few others that I haven't used yet. I'm trying to think what you haven't used yet. I mean you don't have Which brute. That you have. Huh. Wow, you're deciding when you kill I'm ready actually. Sorry, I'm ready. Like I'm just going down the line. So I'm always ready within like five seconds. Oh that's right, he hasn't used any of those AoE pets. Haven't used what? You haven't used any of those AoE pets yet. And they're very strong. Also, he's probably going to make a better team than me. I just threw together three AoE pets. <laughs> Didn't really put any synergy into him. Alrighty, so Skybo Bonkers and that Fragment of Anger is one of those AoE pets. Very cool looking team. Um, hmm. My team's just kind of random. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Yeah, even though he has, does have that mechanical, he most likely doesn't actually have a very good, um, a very good matchup against my beast. Most likely his best matchup is that undead who just got stunned on a crit. That's about the best RNG you can get for it, an opener. And another crit into that undead, which is his best matchup. There's a stun, so that's, that's some redemption for him, but, uh. It's definitely not looking too good for him. Not too good. I kinda hate how they nerf spirit fire me. I know many would disagree. Yeah, I disagree. <laughs> Maybe a stun? No stun. Alright, let's go ahead and break that decoy down real quick. Yeah, oh, I thought you'd bring in bonkers. Alright, oh, interesting choice. Going for that stud and got you. Okay, that's smart. This coin toss is actually really important. I won the coin toss. And I survived. If I win this coin toss, I don't think you can win this game. Oh, I don't think you can win this, man. It's it's too... I just got really good RNG, honestly. Gonna be able to slow down your pets and then I'm faster. Just so little you can do. Yeah, so many crits. It's ridiculous, honestly. Okay, so he does have Sticky Grenade. That's something to keep in mind. Definitely don't want to take that on my beast. That will kill me. Well played. The problem you, you're at, you're running into. Well, you do have decoy, and I can't break it though. So this is. Oh wait, no, I'm alive. Okay. Coin toss goes to him. That's fair, because the earlier one went to me. The earlier really important one. Huh. Alrighty, so that, uh, that Skybo's gone. Oh, Is that 244 speed? Yeah, I, I just have to land this and then he's, and then I win. Because that horn attack does just enough even without the beast racial. GG. 
So it ended up being a 15% chance of him winning there at the end, but uh, I of course landed that that trihorn charge. And the <laughs> of course it was an RNG win. The name of my team was Might Get Lucky. <laughs> Luck I did get. Lucky I was. Alrighty, so I have a couple more teams. I think I have about seven more. Gonna be playing with this, uh... I'm ready for you. With this team, I call it OP Vampire. Oh, wait a minute. Dang it, I never leveled up that pet. I can't use that team. Let me throw up another pet instead, then. What? Oh, I'm sad about that. I was gonna use the Fruit Hunter for just, like, a nuker. But uh, I don't. I, I forgot to level him up. Oh, uh, let me see. Did I use the the this? I don't think I used the this yet. What's uh, the this? The, you're gonna you're gonna have to, you're gonna you're gonna find out soon. That's a pretty good nuke pet, just for a third slot. All right, I'm uh uh either way. Actually, that's kind of fun. <laughs> Are you ready? That's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, so, seeing the Sunreaver micro- oh, oh, I should have oh, used that! God. That would have been cool. Huh. Oh, that's your nuker? Sunburner? Oh, yeah, that's my nuker. He's had a heavy hit- no. <laughs> the star Stormborn. Stormborn. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty nice. Hmm. What do I want to open with? Oh man, this matchup's terrible for you. Like, what can you even do about the the Sun Darter Hatchling? Is that terrible for you? Yeah, like you have so much weak damage with that uh, Phoenix Hatchling. Oh, you can change the weather. That's one thing you can do. Okay, I got you. I got you. Glad I soaked that with uh, my ruby droplet for sure. Oh, that's an interesting situation, actually. Did you notice? Lightning storm technically does damage, so it actually hit my backline pets with the extra damage from lightning storm. Because, like, it technically does damage by removing Sunny Day. And so, Lightning actually... It's like a little bit of extra damage, just a tiny bit. Okay. That was a Stormborn running, uh... He did say burst down, so... Like, you see... See how high we hit. That was less than very high. <laughs> but your flying racial's almost gone, which is a good thing. Interesting, he's locking himself into another one of those. Which means that I can take out his flying racial real quick. Alrighty. Well, when I first saw the boost, added, that's, like, I thought it would be really good, but only because I thought it might have a power, power breed. It would be really good with a power, power breed, trust me. But it's just not without. Hmm. 
but he's really strong to support any sort of healy pet. Nice, I'm happy he went for that. Shite. Because that means I can change it on him. That leaves me no choice but to go for this. Alright. <sighs> I just need to stall out until... Until you can change the weather, yeah. Because, like, while the weather's up, I'm just going to be a monster. There's nothing nothing you can do to counter this kind of healing. Does he have absorb or I normally run Acid Touch, and I actually wish I had it here because of Lightning. But uh, the whole idea of this team is just to see just how obnoxious can my healing really be. Because the Ruby Droplet's another one of those pets that could be considered Tier 1. He's just not quite as obnoxious as, like, the Orphan Fell Bat or the Terra Claw. Let me see. 10% uh, is 140. Alright, so this uh, this coin toss is a little important, but I mean, I'm just healing so much. Uh, just give me the At least he got the damage. Okay. Kind of glad that one went to you, because so far, this definitely looks like my game. Uh, it's... It's gonna be a tough one for you to for you to win. You do have a bubble breaker at least, but like as far as just nuking me down. Oh, well that's a good start. It was, it was. Right, who can kill who first? I don't know. I don't know how you can kill me. I just heal for so much. Lucky string of crits. Oh my god, he won't die. Yeah, this 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 move set is so trolly. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. This is the problem with this mini mate is there's so many healy pets. <laughs> Super crit right here. Just, just keep something. Man, I'm sorry. I love the I love the Phoenix Hatch League. I I, I feel bad playing that, but I mean, it was the whole idea of the team is this like team a healy team. A lot of synergy with shattered defenses, lightning storm, and emulation. I had a chain. I had a light. I had a. Uh, I just had a lot. Like I had AOE, I had nukes, I had um, I had heals, a lot of heals, and I had a weather changer. So it just has a potential. Yeah, I think your team could do a lot better against like a non really trolly team. I'm really curious to see what Gomrath bans because like after watching this video, uh, hi Gomrath by the way if you're watching right now. Um, Shaking it in his boots. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a lot. There's a lot of choices to be made for, like, do you just allow everything and be like, alright, this is gonna be kind of a shit show. I mean, sorry, but it's gonna be a lot of tier 1 pets, or do you just say, alright, fine. If it's on, if it's on Linica's tier 1 list, can't use it. <laughs> or, like, you know, what do you do? It's There's so, so many uh, good pets. I'm playing this tournament for the both of us, so both Gomrath, Hiru, and whoever else better uh, step up their A-game. <laughs> Alrighty, fun looking team. I like this. I like this a lot. It's very similar to, to Disco Doggy's uh, team, We're just substituting the Leviathan Hatchling. Um, huh. wonder what I can do here. Hmm. <clears throat> Okie dokie, so he's not going to be able to blind this. That's good news. Don't have say because volcano's way better yeah volcano's really good i was scared you would open with the death adder hatchling but i had some moves that i could use even if you brought in that snake
Yeah, that's who I would have chosen. I mean, you can probably guess I'm going to swap, so it's really not a problem that you have all that weak damage. And you take weak damage. For, although, I could bring in my Snowfeather Hatchling. Maybe. Nice crit. Too bad the uh, volcano doesn't count as a toxin object. At least none of them stuck, so. That's good, yeah. I'm glad because it is kind of weird that it doesn't count as a dot. Alrighty, so let's see if you can figure out now what my strategy is on Abyssius. Oh no, not uh, not the slightest in the world. <laughs> I've only Did you see it coming, by the way? No, not really. Cause yeah, it's, it's pretty it's pretty stealthy. Like you don't really see it, and then oh, plagued blood with the dots. It's pretty fun, actually. Like, I like you gotta it. Get your, uh, basic attack. What'd you say? A basic attack? No, it didn't. I have a disease pack. Oh, I'm fine. I don't. I hate crush. <laughs> Alrighty, that's fine with me. Two volcanoes in a game, that's always good for me. Alright, down I go, but down you go. Someone's gonna be taking a lot of damage. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm not sure what I recommend you do here, honestly. Oh. I was afraid of a primal cry. That would be really good for you because you can slow my, my fast bird to be slower than yours. Yeah. The problem with the slow is it's only four rounds, so I think I would be fast enough by the time I need to get this uh, predatory strike off. Yes, GG. Nah. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna do the the overkill. Yeah. And there's just nothing you can do. Yeah. I mean, now that I think about it, I think you should have gone for that primal cry to slow me down. But still, it's just so much damage. Yep. There it is. Oh wait, I forgot the screenshot. <laughs> It's so great. It's really fun. Alrighty. So this is a this is another one of those teams that I anticipate you'll really enjoy playing against. I think it's gonna, um, you know, have make make Nathan have a a, a really fun time here. Um, nothing tr nothing trolly about this team. I I mean it's. Is your Pinocchio nose sticking out? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, this this team is total garbage. My creative teams are taking it up to wreck them. <laughs> I gotta just start hey, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I only have one more team with... Let me see. Yeah, I only have one more team with tier 1 pets after this. And it only has one tier one pit, but this one's this one's pretty obnoxious. Oh man, what can you even do? What can you do? You have the son of Animus, but I have the living sandling. Oh, this is this is rough. Alrighty, so um. Exactly, because you can't stun it. Exactly. Oh, 
is running at you. Huh? Uh, not really much I can do except name change damage. Oh, and the stun. <laughs> and the stun. Just think back. Did Bessie get a stun on that thing? <laughs> Oh man, this is this is pretty game breaking getting that stun. Nerfing that heal. Now, he can probably interrupt me here, but that's okay. Because I can just soak it with a critter. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this this big me cow is so good against you because, um, you just can't stun him. You can't interrupt him. Nothing. Now you probably have dazzling dance, but um. Oh, and you have scratch. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I just thought of it. That bite. Yeah, exactly. I saw that and I was a little bit scared, but I was taking a risk that you might have Scratch. Oh, that's right, I have nothing really against critters. I was wor more worried about undead. Yeah, like, what can you even do about the idol? He's he's insane. I don't need my speed because I'm faster than all of you. So, that, so letting me know you don't have kick. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, crap. <laughs> oh my god. What can you do? <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna go for a stun here. All right, so he finally went for that. You haven't fooled me this time. <laughs> oh no, I was hoping he switched into the cow thing, and I was like, "T low health." Hopefully, you're hitting on the low end. Yeah, but you're one hit away from death, and I have heals. You don't, so you kind of have to go for a stun here. There it is. Switching into the cow. That's just like <laughs> basically passing your turn. Pretty low. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, that's really low end. That doesn't. It doesn't hit much lower than that. Most of my pets have just been a disappointment today. <laughs> or whatever. I just had really good matchups against you, honestly. There's the interrupt. There's the slow. Wow, you're even faster than me. That's so <laughs> yeah, that uh, that quicksand's OP. <laughs> and here's the ridiculous thing: is I was able to win this without even using Sandstorm till the end. It's it's such a strong team because it's just so tanky. I was able to win this without even using Sandstorm until the very end of the game. Like, imagine how much more annoying this team would be if if I had Sandstorm up the entire game. Every team I pull out, he has a double-edged sword. Right? This is... that was ridiculous. So yeah, I'm sorry. That was probably the most obnoxious team I've created. Of course, you have the Pygmy Cow to heal him up with Mother's Milk is what I was running, by the way. In case they do get low. It is kind of meh, but when you have those really tanky pets and you know they they take a little bit of damage, it's just it's you you can't come back from a heal like that. I mean that's three hundred seventy to each of them. Alteric brew pup. Yeah, alteric brew pup's better. Alrighty, so. Hmm. Oh my god! Let's see what haven't I played. 
this is my last team with a tier 1 pet in it, so this will be pretty interesting to see. Let's see if this team has a chance. It's a tier 1 pet that if you counter it, it suddenly becomes garbage. <laughs> what family type is it? Oh, I, I don't think I want to tell you. <laughs> Wait. There's only like one I can think of. Oh, there's one you can think of. How many have I used? Like, all the rest? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have it. Like I said, if you if you counter it, it's all worthless. Right, He's almost 110%. He's only 109% sure what it is. Yeah, you know exactly what it is. In that case, I'll just run this. Hmm. Let's see if I was right. It is, of course, as you guessed, the sneaky marmot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that pygmy cow, that pygmy dire horn, though. Maybe I really, really don't want to be countered on that sneaky marmot, though. Maybe Wouldn't it be a half bad idea? I was guessing no pet. Uh oh. There, he's more than likely he does have a If he don't, he will be. Static. Hmm. Alright, getting a stun right stun. here would be kind of nice actually. I, I want to get resilience. Uh, no resilience. Alright, well, the good news is... I can't get stunned right now. Wait, if I interrupt you, will that interrupt the hero? Oh, I'd go ahead and try it if I was you. And I was going against me, because I'd want me to win. Because the answer is no, you can't. <laughs> it doesn't work like repair, it's overpowered. So that's a good time to swap. And he doesn't have... Emerald Presence would really mess with me, yeah. It would really mess with you. Hmm. Oh, something about the breath with that, too. Alright, who's late? Oh, there's a dodge. <laughs> I know, it's, this guy's su such a troll. I hate, I hate me six. Oh my gosh, another dodge. <laughs> it's such a, it's such BS. Like, what can you do about that? I hate frolicking so much to go up against it. Oh my gosh, I dodged three in a row. If it's gonna miss, then just go to the side. I know, it's so trolly. Alright, so there's one heal, finally. But, I mean, Frolic is up in one more round, and if I can keep dodging, it's... Like, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, he's just like, screw this. I'm <laughs> not even going for it. Sneaky Marmot's low health. Low, low health. Hmm. Oh, look at that hat uh, below half health Sneaky Marmot. I know. Hmm. Does he have smoke bomb? Or does he have burrow? What does he have? What does he have? Is he gonna predict the trihorn charge and go for a for for uh 
<laughs> For a smoke bomb. Man, he's waiting till the end of the timer to find out what he's doing. Oh, you called it. You called it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a troll. <laughs> Alright, I'm so glad that piggy die horn's gone. Alright. I wanted to see the end page. <laughs> oh, trust me, you will. Um, I think I would win this if I had Emerald Presence, but I think Moonfire is just going to cost me too much. Like, being able to block these dots would be god mode, but you're actually going to out-damage my healing with your, uh, with your rotation. So, uh, I think you got me. Oh yeah. GG. Basically two pet me. Very well played. Like I said, you know, you bring the sneaky marmot, it's countered, you know. It's it's worthless, but if you uh, if you can't counter it, it's over. It's, uh, he's he's so strong. Oh, you got me with the crit finally. That's that's justice right there. Like I saw that heal. That was like five hundred. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have three more teams. Go ahead and start off with this one whenever you're ready. Could be wrong, but uh, the rest of my teams might be pretty poopy right now. My, my, uh, even though those don't have tier one ta uh, tier one pets, they're actually okay teams. Like no tier one pets, so they're fun teams. But um. Well, thank God the, the horror is hopefully over. Now. I know it's just fun teams from here on out, so which is nice. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, that grotesque. That grotesque is really, really strong. Let's see here. What'd you say? Yeah, he's definitely going to be good against the elemental. I don't know about the rest of your team, though. Um, I feel like my Azure Crane Chick is dead weight here. Really not very useful against this team. Maybe once the magic pet's gone, he'll be- Oh, that crit's really good for me. Ow. Point to us. Let him do less damage to me, you know. Yeah, that coin toss is pretty important because now your magic pet's dead, or you have to take this on somebody else. Oh, and another coin toss before you can get out that AoE. That's really unfortunate. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'd be really useful. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you have Gar Gargoyle. I've actually never seen Gargoyle strike. That's such a. It's like stone shot, right? I've actually never seen it used because every time I go against Grotesque, it's this guy who literally just uses stone form and swaps. And it's so annoying. <laughs> I 
Actually, this halitosis is really doing good work against the, uh... Halitosis, it's, uh, it's like the fancy word for bad breath. <laughs> wow, I just killed your Jadefire Spirit with raw AoE. That's crazy. I mean, I just had so much aquatic damage. Oh no, no heals. <laughs> and I can't do anything. I got really lucky there. Not, I mean, winning coin tosses against the magic pet, getting uh, triples. It did bug out. Wait, why did? What do you mean? With Hero's video. What is it? How does it? How did it bug out for him? When Grutesk was like coming out or something. Oh, that was a long time ago. They sort of fixed it now. Basically, now it just heals for like three. It just heals for a crap ton for three turns in a row. With arcane <gasps> that's why that's why you have arcane wins. I was like, man, that's such an odd choice. No, yeah, here, uh, I actually haven't used our used him. Um, I'll just show you a really quick game. Grotesque. Oh, he's not level. Uh, here, just uh, just just rematch me. Same team. Just bring out grotesque and uh, here I'll I'll just hit you a couple times with uh, some infected claws and then just go for your heal. See what it does. Heal twice. Yeah, exactly. It heals three times in a row. It literally doesn't even stun. It's it's that's uh, it it doesn't heal you uh, stun you at all. Yeah, it doesn't even say the stun the stun thing anymore. So yeah, just uh, I'll just pass. Six round cooldown. It just heals for it just heals for six hundred thirty every turn. It's really strong. Oh, but I fixed it. Okay. Bow wow. Yep. So yeah, it's just a really strong heal. Like it's kind of broken. Um, really, definitely a strong pet if you throw him with like a the the start sun daughter hatchling. Really, I forgot about him. All right. Um, so I have two more teams now. Oh, I just realized my last team name doesn't even work anymore because I used to have the pygmy cow, and I titled I titled the team uh, when the stakes are high. But now I don't have the cow anymore, so it's it's just it's just a weird name. Oh my god! Don't tell me. Well. Well, this is this was this was. Stone grinder. I used to I used to have uh, this pygmy cow where the stone grinder is. So we got a uh, we got little bling core fire imp. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm glad he didn't start with the lesser void caller. Oh, so thank you for letting me know you have flame jet. What? What makes you think that? Oh, I didn't even realize I have two mechanicals. Shame on me! Shame on me! Why am I playing two mechanicals? That's terrible. Well, what made you think I had flamed it? Oh man. What if I uh? I should have paid more attention because, like I said, I used to have the pygmy cow here. Ah. <sighs> what if I have call darkness to reduce your healing even more? <laughs> Alright, who's getting hit? Who's getting hit? <laughs> Alright, let's think. Yes. Oh no! Why did I... I literally passed my turn. Oh, I, was I, I was thinking too hard about which mechanical I wanted to bring in. No, that's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, I think that's GG. Like, I couldn't decide, do I want to put the dot on him, or do I want to bring a little bling? Ah. I'm so glad that... It's terrible. Corfire Imp is gone. I always underestimate that. Oh, yeah. He's basically a fiendish imp, except he can heal, which, it, like, he can actually just heal. Oh, my gosh. Please hit on, like, a high-end and crit. No. Not today. Man, that hit hard. <laughs> no, that's so sad. 
<laughs> I'm so sad. Nightmare while playing tier zero. <laughs> oh, I forgot to use him. I think I even have him at level 25. Awesome pet. All right, coin toss. Come on. Okay, I got the coin toss. Yeah, the idea of this was to have a bleed and immolation up, and then that inflation's gonna actually be really good. But of course, here it is, um... Here it's not so great. Basically all it does is it just forces you to stay in instead of swapping. Heels. That's kind of a PS ability because no matter what, you're gonna get something out of it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I don't like it very much. Either playing it or playing against it. All right, GG. Actually, considering I lost a pet to stupidity, I feel like it was a close game. But even if I hadn't lost it, I feel like you still would have. Uh, I, I, I feel like you still would have won. Um, played well, had a good matchup. I have one more team, so this will be my last team for this uh, for this video. This video was so long; it's been like an hour and a half. Yay! Um, I know one tier, uh, low tier one pet that I haven't played. Hmm. Which one is it, by the way? I didn't actually use all the best pets. Not sure. No, this. Yeah, just let me know. Just let me know if it's the pet that you think it that that you were thinking of after we after we challenge. I'm ready whenever you are. Do this. Alrighty. One pet I haven't gotten to use that I really want to, but I just couldn't find a good team for him is Crispin. But the real problem is there aren't, there's only one blood in the water user and there's no maulers, so uh... Um, by the way, which pet were you thinking of? For what? Like? For like a low, a, a low tier one or a high tier two? Oh, I really. Because... No, I remember I used him in my clone dance team. No, I meant that I have Oh, that you haven't used. Okay. Yeah, he's only he's only tier two. Oh, they bumped him down, did they? Yeah, he's only tier two. Ooh, nice. Yes, please. Give me some of this matchup. That's what she said. What? <laughs> other people on another Discord give me that all the time. Oh, I just have a crap matchup all around. Yeah, this is pretty good for me. No bubble breaker. Alright, weather. Help me. That's a pretty nice matchup. Oh come on, why is he not doing what I hope he would do? I was figuring the shell armor would come in there. Oh come on, the turn that he doesn't attack. I put up my shell armor. Yeah, it's almost like I predicted it. Are you a serious? <laughs> starting to think that you're some psych psychic gypsy or something. Yeah, I I I can uh I can make a prediction or two. Makes me kind of annoying. Oh, he's not changing that weather. Well played, for sure.
I'm surprised you aren't swapping into that elemental. There's the weather. Okay. Kill, kill. Alrighty. Predict the elemental will come in. He doesn't want to bring in that Runeforged Servitor because he's slower than me. Oh my god, that versus Sid. It's not going to be very great. Yeah. It's like using pocket cannon. Exactly. No stun. Bonkers is also really good against the Servitor. Especially if I win mind games, like... It's just really hard to hit. Okie dokie. Was predicting a dodge and no dodge came. There's the dodge. Is still up for one hit. Yeah, just barely. Yeah. Hurt so much. I think I've got you. I've just been able to heal up my backline pets for so many cleansing rings. Stop it. It's like a lesser version of annoying wicked soul. Right? <laughs> Die. He just heals for so much if you if he's a, if you can't bu uh, break his bubble. He had to pass, he had to protect the dodge, so that means he has supercharge. <laughs> Man, that Servitor did you no favors. And I mean just, you know, Tornado Punch for the kill. Wow. So, as you all can see, if you want to win games, play with the Runeforge Servitor. It is brokenly overpowered. <laughs> better than the pocket cannon. Oh, that pocket. It is better than the pocket cannon. <laughs> 
Man, that was a rough matchup. Having a dodge and a bubble available is just too good. <laughs> Alrighty, well thank you so much Nathan for joining me for these games. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, the, the real problem, like I said, with these with this meta is there are so many really, really strong uh, pets that while they are available and allowed, that you know the other pets just really cannot uh, compete with them. I know, but I mean, it is up to Gomrath. Like, I mean, the fast answer is you can just ban all tier one pets, but that's so many. Like, there's there's like 10, 15 uh, tier one pets in this list. You know, you have Fiendish Imp, you have Orphan Felbet, you have uh, the you have the Sneaky Marmot, you have the Wicked Soul, you have the Anubisath Idol. Um, even the the Ruby Droplet's really strong. Um, what else is there? There's a Dire Horn. There's a uh, there's Brute. There's Terror Claw. Um, I think I put, did I put Kovac as a tier 1 pet? I don't think I did. I don't think he's tier 1. I mean, he's good, but he's not really tier 1. Uh, there's the, uh, there's the, the Blight Breath, um, Fragment of Anger, you know, Jade Mist Dancer for, 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 uh, for Rain Dance, of course, Wicked, uh, Hyjal Wisp, like, you know, there, there's over 10, oh, oh, duh, Death Adder Hatchling, Magma Rageling. Bronze Whelpling, like there's so many ridiculously strong pets that are drops. So for this meta, um, this is why I just honestly didn't never did a tournament myself with drops is because to make a fun meta with drops, you just have to eliminate like half the pets. <laughs> and um, to make a to make a uh, a kind of fun meta, then of course other pets are going to be kind of ridiculous. Like of course the fruit hunter's basically a tier one pet wannabe just not the right breed but he's definitely a tier one pet um because he has rain dance and nocturnal strike you can use him in any sort of clone dance team um sun darter hatchlings just a really good pair up with any sort of healy tier one pet so it's a uh, it's kind of just ridiculous how many strong pets there are um so i don't really know what to suggest um if you are doing drops, I'm kind of inclined to just say whatever, go with it, and it's just going to be ridiculous teams that are unbeatably um, overpowered. But um, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting for sure, and I'll definitely watch it if it ends up happening because it's, it's going to be interesting. But uh, I think my uh, only option is just create my best teams. Oh, I just realized I didn't even play this team. I have one more team, but it's not a good team. Let's play it for the. For the laws, we'll play one more. We'll play one more. I just realized I, did, I, I didn't even realize I, did, I missed that team. So let's go. Whenever you're ready. Should add a bonus battle for the end. <laughs> we can do that too. But it is already such a long video. Alrighty, so uh, here we go. Is there enjoyment, our suffering. <laughs> don't worry, I don't have any tier 1 pets. Although I have a tier 1 pet wannabe. He's just not tier one because he doesn't have a decoy breaker. Fortunately, you don't. Oh, you have a bubble though. Yikes! 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 Well, let's see what we can do here. That wretched servant is actually. Yeah, I have fast pets. He's not that scary. This is my YouTube icon. Oh, it's YouTube icons versus each other. Oh, it is! It is. <laughs> Battle of the YouTube icons. I'm gonna kill you. Hmm, yeah, we both have pretty good matchups against each other. Hmm. This is actually a tough decision. So I can't avoid that even with my bubble. Just because it is our, our YouTube icons, I kind of... Yeah, that's the thing. But I'm going to break your, your bubble anyways. I was thinking about swapping and letting that explosive brew kind of hit you anyways. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of just want to see which one of our... Like, 1v1, which one wins. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. I have to get out of there. It's okay. But you weren't expecting to see this pet. Yeah, he's definitely good. Um, I'd recommend going ahead and consuming magic. Um, that uh, that explosive brew. I think that'd be a good strategy. Oh, that would have got rid of the other one when it hit. Uh, no, it wouldn't have. It, it was a bad idea. I was I was I was making fun of you. It's a terrible idea. Uh -oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Do not do it. Hmm. Well. Hmm. 
I think you might start to notice a pattern here for what my uh, what my idea is on this team. <laughs> Stalling or something? Unremovable oh. dots. And you just you just you just you just activated both of them because they're both unavoidable. <laughs> I'm a monster. Oh, are you running a double consume magic team? I really hope for your for your sake that you're not. I really hope you're not. Oh, you pissed me off. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna work like tra well, at least in the now traps. And the other thing, beans go off automatically. Does he not have decoy? Was he predict thinking I was gonna do something? Oh, I was thinking you had sunlight. Oh, decoy. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. have damage. Oh, I can't. Like, yeah, I can't root you. I just wanted the strong damage. Just uh, take out that sun darter hatchling ASAP. Critter. Looks like your icon's gonna bite the Yeah, dust. my icon's down. Let's see if my other pets can do okay, though. I feel like they can. Everybody, go sub to uh, my channel. <laughs> Nathan, you need to put videos up. <laughs> you have like 30 <laughs> subs and you haven't put a video up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I can understand your icon died. <laughs> Already, so uh, there's a heal. But I actually haven't tested that whether I can record on this laptop or not. Huh, well, I'm assuming you have consumed magic or you would have used sunlight by now. Although you might be saving it for a decoy breaker, I don't know. Um, but I'm assuming you have. I don't know, it's, I, it makes more sense that you would have sunlight, but it's odd that you haven't used it yet, for sure. Absolute lowest in I live. That's true. The chances are bad. Um, it's about a one percent chance. Yeah. That was about the highest hint you could get. So it was definitely a good idea that you didn't swap. Alrighty, that bubble is just. What can I do about it? Ruby droplet icon for the win. Yeah, that ruby droplet's gonna do well. Gonna do wonders. But to be fair, I already just annihilated you with a ruby droplet, so if I lose to one, then, you know, I deserve it. <laughs> Alrighty, is he gonna break that? I'm, I'm assuming he has sunlight, and now he's, he's uh, throwing it out to break my Get decoy. Out of here. Nicely played. So this matchup's definitely awkward. Remember what you were doing to me earlier? <laughs> yeah, at least you have acid touch. What I did was even scummier. I was running absorb. Oh, look at that health. That was Just way trillier. Look at that. Man, that, let's look at that health. That's a lot of health right there. I don't know that I've seen a ruby drop with that much health in a minute. <laughs> oh man, Skybo. Getting it up the wreck build. Yeah, he's taking a little... He's, he's, not, doing, he's not doing too well. Unfortunately, this helped you. So. 
Yeah, that action call. Did you know that, um, if you, for example, your skybow, if sunlight went down and you know, you have 420 health right there, mm -hmm. you would keep it and wouldn't go to like 280. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little bonus. Ruby droplet. Ruby Slowly whittling him down. No. Keep him alone on the back row. Thank God, there's no healing on. Yeah, I think you just wouldn't be able to kill me. Wait, does he have the weather change though? I doubt it, but you know. Um, it really doesn't affect you that much, regardless. It still you still would heal heal a lot. I mean, obviously the weather change would be nice, but I just don't think it would be worth it. Other than a decoy breaker. I mean, a bubble breaker. And that goes right through Crouch. Hmm. Save Ruby Drop it. <laughs> No, I meant to say save Sunder actually. My icon is winning, bro. Yeah, I think you got me. Oh, look at all that health. Yeah, full health. You got nothing for this. <laughs> nothing. Now, like I said, the Ruby Droplet's uh, just short of tier 1. He's really, really good. It's not going to save me from the... The drained blood, but I have to try to mitigate those dots. Uh, but yeah, this you've got me. <laughs> Full Ruby health Ruby droplet. droplet. Not gonna let you like take that. Oh, I might not even kill your Sundar or Hatchling if I get another low end hit. Okay, at least got I at least killed two of your pets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just Full health Ruby mind. Droplet. Full health <laughs> Ruby Droplet. That is my icon on YouTube. I that was pretty perfect, so. actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'll leave a descript I'll leave a link for Nathan's for Nathan's channel. But um, looking really looking forward to you to you getting some videos. I finally popped up in the uh, in the search thing because I used oh, nice. to not be able to do that. But <laughs> yeah. uh, I can find myself now by searching. I mean, obviously, I can get it easier than anybody else. Oh yeah. Alrighty, yeah. well, um, yeah, that's gonna be all of my teams that I put <laughs> together. Uh, some good, some not so good, and some really just kind of fun. So. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with these battles. Uh, so thank you all for watching, and uh, we will see you all in the next video.